In this video, I'm going to be going over what to be doing first in Season 7 in NBA 2K23. My team, what are going to be the best game modes to be grinding for first, and just overall, overall what you guys should be doing heading into Season 7 once you first get on the game. So to talk about the game modes and which ones that I will be focusing on first, I want to talk about number one, Unlimited. And I just want to quickly say, before I get into the game modes, it really just comes down to what you guys like to play. Because I know some people, you know, only play offline. So if you just want to grind for Havlicek, you just want to grind for Sean Elliott, Alan Houston, and you want to play the offline game modes, then 100% go ahead and do so. I'm just saying for people that don't mind playing offline and online and just want to know what are the best game modes to be grinded for to make the most MT, tokens, Hoff badges, to get the best cards, and just the best prizes and, re and rewards for playing your for playing the game, you know, what are going to be the best game modes for that. But if you guys just want to play online, then don't focus on offline. Don't worry about Havlicek, don't worry about Alan Houston, Sean Elliott, and just focus on the offline online game modes. So I just want to say that out first, you know, play whatever game modes you guys like. But if you want to know what are the best overall game modes in the game, I think the first one for season seven is easily going to be my team unlimited just for the prizes you get you know overall not even really talking about the tokens the badges that's all great stuff like you're gonna get so many hoff badges but the main two stuff i want the main two or three things i want to talk about is number one gonna be dark matter artist gilmore and i'll also at the end of the video go over all of these you know season seven reward cards all the free cards in season seven and i'll go over their stats their badges their animations so you guys can actually see what these cards do look like you know on paper but just gonna quickly talk about what game modes to grind and then i'll go over to 2kdb and look at their stats and their badges and their animations but artist gilmore right here at 6,000 points really not that many games to play for i think it's about maybe 30 in total total depending on how many you, uh, how many you're winning and how many you're losing but 6,000 points for artist gilmore who's what a top five center in the game and a top five power for that's going to be really good for a free card and then as you progress through the mode you'll just get more mt more tokens you'll get five more hall of fame badges here you know more tokens and then once you get to 12,550 points you do get the 10 pack award box for the uh, fuego promo set and then also at 13,450 points you do get an interdimensional galley sopal option pack which has a chance to get you a kpj a marcus a shane battier a lamar odom a mike miller so those are not bad galley sopals in the interdimensional set and then you get 20,000 mt 250 tokens 10 hall of fame badges so in total that's what 17 hoff badges to get from unlimited that is really really good another 25,000 mt and then also this bill charman coach which is a plus eight galley simple coach he's going to be balanced which is not bad so that's a free coach you can get for just playing unlimited he's basically free and i'm sure you can sell him on the auction house so yeah he's great that, that, that's honestly a great thing to be grinding for is number one artist gilmore and also this bill Sharman uh coach he could be your coach for the rest of the year as a really good galley soapball and then you're gonna get 500 tokens and that 20 pack award box uh 20 pack award box for the fuego promo so all around i would say unlimited is definitely the all around best game mode to be grinding for in season seven hands down no question if you guys like playing unlimited or at least you can play unlimited because i know a lot of people maybe don't like it so much but they'll play it for the prizes at least get to artist go more that's what i'll say everything after artist gilmore to me is a huge bonus a huge plus if you want to continue grinding the game mode because you like it and you want the extra prizes and you want the bill Sharman, 100 percent go ahead and do it but at least even if you don't like playing unlimited and you can like somewhat stand playing it at least get to 6,000 points so you can get artist gilmore i'm telling you guys he's going to be one of the best free center cards and just one of the best free bigs and one of the best bigs in the game for a pretty long time so artist gilmore definitely going to be worth grinding for unlimited i'd recommend every Everybody go after that 6,000 points to get the dark matter uh to get the dark matter artist now to talk about the other game modes it really goes it really comes down to do you want to grind rng or do you not want to worry about it because if you don't want to worry about rng then i would say you probably want to go for clutch time online to go after this point guard that i cannot pronounce his name at all but you guys can see him right here the dark matter saryunis saryunis no idea how to say his name but he's actually a really good point guard like i said i'll go over to 2kdb here in a second and show you guys all their stats or badges or animations but if you guys do want to grind for rng i would recommend trying to grind for rick smith if possible i know it's hard to get these rng cards and at the end of the day it just comes down to luck but if you can grind co-op if you can grind t2 online i think rick smith just like artist gilmore is going to be one of the best free bigs in the game for a while and just one of the best centers in the game period so rick smith artist gilmore is definitely the 
two best free cards I would say from season seven and both guys that I would definitely recommend grinding for and then also while you guys are playing game modes just make sure you're, you're chipping away you know at the level 40 for this season which is going to be Zion there's not that much XP in the game right now besides you know the all-time NBA which there, there's a good amount of uh, XP in here nothing crazy I think in total there's about 23 maybe 22 23,000 XP which is not bad but make sure you're just chipping away whether it's in the you know the Enfuego promo set you know getting some of these pink diamonds some of the or not pink diamonds some of the opals and the dark matters doing their XP just make sure you guys are chipping away as you're grinding all the game modes don't have to get Zion like right away I don't think he's going to be you know super overpowered in the sense like you need this you need this invincible Zion right away but just make sure you guys are still slowly working towards him. I think it'll be a really fun small forward to use in game. I'll definitely be grinding for him on my on my main account and maybe even on this account as well just trying to get Zion. i think he's going to be number one a really fun small forward and it and should be actually pretty good like yes he might not be on the chat Giannis bull bull type of level because he's a little bit undersized only being six foot seven compared to those giants who are like seven foot one seven foot two but i still think he's going to be a really fun and elite level small forward so make sure you guys are grinding for the invincible zion but the two game modes if you guys like playing online that i definitely think you should be grinding is going to be clutch time online and unlimited but now I think I'm going to hop over to 2KDB and just show you guys the stats and the badges of all the other cards. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys in order what I do think the best game modes are to be grinding for. But I just want to hop over to 2KDB so you guys can take a look at these cards, show you guys their stats, their badges, and their animations as well. So now looking at these free cards here on 2KDB, the first card I do want to talk about is going to be the Dark Matter Artist Gilmore. Like I said, he's from Unlimited at 6,000 points. He's going to be a 7'2 center power forward, 6 uh, 7 foot Foot five wingspan so a great all-around big man in the game height and uh, height and wingspan wise he also does have a great player modeling game his stats are going to be so elite i mean a 95 block 92 steel 98 interior defense 92 perimeter he's super athletic of a card really good at finishing around the basket he has every single hall of fame defensive badge and then also his jump shot's not bad and he has some pretty good dribble stakes so unlimited has the best and just most all-around prizes and stuff to be grinding for so i definitely think unlimited is the best game to grind in season seven because you get artist gilmore you get bill Sharman, and just so much mt and tokens and hoff badges compared to any other game mode to talk about a different card from clutch time offline which i didn't mention yet uh have a check is going to be the 100 win reward for clutch time offline in season seven he's going to be a six foot five shooting guard six foot eight wingspan i mean he's a good defender he's a good all-around shooting guard i don't think he's a must-have card like i don't think you need to go out of your way to get john have check if you like playing the offline game modes and you somewhat like playing clutch time offline i think he'll be a very solid card uh, the point guard, like I said, from Clutch Time Online, this is the next game mode that I would grind for if you don't want to go after Rick Smith, who's from like Co-op, T2 Online, or Unlimited Vault. If you want to grind Clutch Time Online and you do have a chance to get Rick Smith, I think this point guard is going to be actually really solid, being 6'5 with a 6'8 wingspan. I mean, all around, this card just has great stats and badges. His jump shot's super good with the Kyle Korver base, the Vince Carter upper, on very quick timing. He's also got the Kyle Lowry size up. He's got the Kobe escape, Dame behind the back, quick drop off one tendencies are pretty good for the on ball steal so i think he's going to be a really elite free point guard to be grinding for in clutch time online and then talking about alan houston he's going to be in t2 offline for the 250 wins he's going to be a six foot six shooting guard six foot nine wingspan all around i mean should be good offensively does have a good jump shot on very quick timing has the tray escape the t-max size up the dame behind the back the quick drops off one the front clutches i mean all around should be a good offensive two guard and then rick smith just like i mentioned with artist gilmore are going to be one of the best free bigs in the game for quite some time i mean a seven foot four center with a seven foot seven wingspan some people are saying he's even better than a card like yao ming which i'm not sure if he is but i think he's on that yao ming type of level at the center position he's got such a good jump shot that's super easy to agree with he's quick on the court you know his three balls high enough his defense is going to be elite easily a top what three center in the game i would say so rick smith's definitely going to be worth grinding for talking about sean elliott the other rng card so Sean Elliott's going to be in offline game modes like T2 offline, Clutch Time offline, and then Rick Smith is going to be in the online game modes, co-op, 
clutch time online wheel spin unlimited vault tt offline at the top that's how you get rick smith but sean elliott's gonna be another really good free card six foot eight at the two six foot eleven wingspan all around great stats and badges on the card he's got amazing hall of fame shooting badges jump shots pretty good six are solid i mean he's another just really good free card and then the final one is going to be mitch richmond who is going to be in the actual co-op mode because rick smith is in the co-op vault he's in the vault so every time you win a game in co-op you have a chance to get rick smith but the mitch richmond i believe is at 50 wins i think it's 25 50 or 75 or maybe 100 it's i think it's 50 is how you get this dark matter mitch richmond and he's just like a worse version of alan houston so now guys to talk about the game modes that i do think are worth grinding first uh first game mode like i mentioned is 100 percent going to be unlimited no debate in my opinion at least it's got to be unlimited for the first game mode you guys are grinding once again if you don't mind playing the game mode and just getting to 6,000 points then i'd recommend either playing clutch time online or going after rick smith because in co-op you can get this rick smith card and he's somewhat not i wouldn't say common but that's definitely the best game mode to grind for rick smith so that's the second thing i'd recommend doing you know playing co-op and then also while you're grinding co-op while you're grinding unlimited just make sure you're doing some offline challenges and getting your xp done you know and then once they release more xp you'll get closer to getting invincible zion third game mode i grind is going to be clutch time online uh triple threat online for rick smith you can also grind as well i think that's a pretty good game mode to go after rick smith and then also clutch time offline i think it's really good for havlicek i think he's a solid you know free shooting guard in the game so that's kind of the order i would be grinding if i had to pick an order i would say unlimited one co-op two clutch time offline three triple threat offline four clutch time offline uh five and then triple threat offline six if, if we're talking about the six main game modes those are the ones that i'd be grinding for first definitely focusing on unlimited and co-op to go after all the prizes there's some pretty good prizes in co-op but mainly going after rick smith so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are going to be doing first in season seven are you guys going into unlimited for artist gilmore are you guys on the rng hunt for rick smith or sean elliott or are you guys maybe going after clutch m offline reward like this free dark matter point guard or john havlicek but hopefully hopefully this video to help you guys out and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace